starts at 4 Eastern. Check your local listings for the game in your area Sunday on Fox. And I won't back down. The NBA season tips off tonight with Kyrie Irving making his much-anticipated return to Cleveland when the Cavs host the Celtics. The Eastern Conference Finals rematch comes after a busy offseason for both teams. J.R. Smith was asked about the new-look Celtics yesterday. I mean, I think they're the same. I want to say the same team, obviously, because of different people in different jerseys. But, I mean, I don't really pose a, a big as a big threat to us. We're joined by FS1 NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Welcome back, Chris. It's great to be back. Great to be back yeah. with you guys. Mm. Gotta love JR. Coming up. Mm, yeah, you heard Swish. <laughs> Skip mad. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Over there grinding. You don't agree? Hmm? You've been killing the East. I've been watching you. You, Chris, you agree. <laughs> how big of a threat is Boston to Cleveland? I could give a one-word answer and we could move on to another yeah. question. But <laughs> let, me, let me say a few things. One, I was very impressed. I know it's the preseason. I don't want to make too much of it. But I was impressed with Boston in the preseason. I figured it would take them a while. They'd have growing pains. Gordon Hayward's never played with a, pass, a shoot first point guard. Kyrie is back in the role of full-time point guard for the first time in three years. And you're relying on young guys, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. So I thought they'd have growing pains. But what I saw in the preseason was really good I chemistry. Agree. I you know? said that earlier. Oh, I mean, yeah. it, it made, gave me even more respect mm -hmm. for Brad Stevens. Mm -hmm. The ball movement, the passing, the player movement, they're going to be tough. They may end up, depending on how Cleveland approaches the regular season, and I think LeBron may pace himself, which would be smart. And they got it a lot of older guys. for the first time. <laughs> yeah, he should. You're right. Wait, did, is it a fact he played the most minutes in the whole NBA last year? Yeah, he did. And Why then would after he do that, that? And then after that, every, every 30 in the playoffs and having a triple-double in the oh, final. Wow. After playing the most minutes. Hmm. Well, you, you lead me to the point. Okay, hmm. Boston might be the number one seed. Kyrie's my dark horse, dark horse MVP okay. candidate. But in the playoffs... They got no chance. Not this year. And here's why. One, Cleveland, I think, is at, with Golden State, is the deepest team in the league. Two, with Jay Crowder and, to a lesser extent, Jeff Green, they get back that defensive mentality. Remember, I think I said probably a dozen times on here last year, they lost their identity. They're finesse. They want to shoot the three all the time. Now they can defend. I think LeBron will be able to rest a little more on that end because Jay – We'll guard Durant and Paul George and those guys. And then the biggest thing is who in Boston can guard LeBron? Last year with Crowder and Avery Bradley, they had no hope. He averaged 30 points and right. seven assists in the, you know, in the Eastern Conference Finals. This year, Jalen Brown's a really good defender. He is. But obviously he can't guard. Say. Can well, he guard LeBron? You think he's big enough? Maybe. No. Well, somebody's got to I just don't. I, I, I like Boston, but. No. I mean, the man, Cleveland, the, the, man the man, averaged a triple-double against seven-foot Kevin Durant. He averaged 30 against Kawhi, the best two-way player in the game. He averaged almost 40 against Paul George, who's a way better defender than Jalen Brown. So Jalen Brown got no chance, mm. first of all. So the only difference between this year and last year, last year they won one game. They'll win two. They'll make it interesting. Because since LeBron has been back, He's only going to he's only going six games twice. He might LeBron might have that mentality though that he Sweep has to bury them. Sweep they, up. They I might keep, get a game. I've been trying to they, tell this man bury, bury Kyrie's team. Yes. Yeah. I've been yes. Chris, I've been trying to tell this I man. I want to hear the I've been, I've been trying to tell wait. this man. Mm. You know what? You know what? After Chris just said that, I don't even want to talk no more. Mm. Y'all want to hear you talk. Mm. <laughs> so the first threat that might be posed to the Cavaliers is by J.R. Swish, you know, J.R. Smith, because He's already not happy with his new role. Is he going to stay unhappy the whole year? Because there's going to be some dissension brewing with him and Tristan having to come off the bench. But you've already suggested, or I, I guess predicted, that Tristan's going to be gone in a trade by midseason. So we right? do this, Skip? Yeah. You like, don't really pose no threat, no. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm saying the Cavs pose an internal threat. And then i got to ask my friend Chris about this. What just happened to Richard Jefferson? This was like the weirdest move. The, the player I feared the most coming <laughs> off the bench was R.J. Been there, done that. He he knew to do how this. to play. Knew, he, he came in on both ends of the floor, and he just made things happen in big, the biggest games. In the finals, he played as, at, as high a level in his 15 minutes as anybody on the team did. 
At his age, though, Skip, come right. on. You you think what, he was going to be just valuable happened. this year? Yes. They got so much depth. Thank which, you. Wow. To me, that could be their – the challenge – this is a big challenge for Teron Lou. Because you have – I mean, what if Derrick Rose is playing really well and they're cruising when Isaiah Thomas gets back? Uh-oh. Is he going to get back? Well, I think he'll be back. I mean, everything is January. You know, that's a question. But I think even without him, they've got too much for Boston. Because I think Derrick Rose is going to have a good year. Okay. I really do. Uh, but I just think, I do mean. They have too much for Cleveland. See, that's the. Too point. much talent. Yeah. Like, too well, many, yeah, yeah. They feel, I've been told by people there, they feel like they have a good problem. Like, so much talent that, you know, you got to find Jeff the Green, for JR, that. Iman Shumpert, every, D, uh, 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 D Wade. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got a lot of guys that really play like yep. very similar position. I, See, Skip, stop trying to. But you I, know, I, Skip, you know that they thrive on controversy. You no it's matter every night. Exactly. There's go, they love that. LeBron's going to create that yeah, that's somehow. Why I anyway. to leave. I'm convinced something just happened between RJ and LeBron James. Oh something just happened on road tripping on the podcast. <laughs> oh, something got said. There's no reason to ship him out this quickly. And you see, a lot of suitors jumped right up okay. and started bidding for but him. But we finally wound up million. We say thirteen million. Oh yeah, the that's, that's what you want. But you we know, thirteen. Everything RJ could do, they they got and then some. Jeff Green. Crowder and then really? Jeff Green. You don't Richard, think Crowder I, can shoot the three? He's a better defender. Yes. You don't but, think he's a better defender? Richard Jefferson is really good at what he does. You skip. You trying to start. You try, you start. You're trying to start I'm something. I'm not starting. It, <laughs> it's ended. It's over. Yeah. Oh, he goes. Okay, we not. GM talk. LeBron shipped him oh, out. Okay, whatever. No, we happened. shipped him out. Okay. He did. Okay. Something no, went wrong. He did not. RJ he did said not. something on road no, trip no, that did. LeBron didn't like. <laughs> I, you know it, and I know it. This something is what I want to ask you. You brought up Demarcus Cousins, right? That Cleveland's getting him. You like Boogie. You like well, Boogie. I, I love him. I love okay. him coming out of the draft. I, I said before that draft, he's going to be better than John Wall. And everybody said, oh, please, John Wall's the So far, though, he hasn't uh, been. He has, too. Better than John Wall. Oh, John Wall is leading his team to the playoffs. Oh, please. And then what Does he? If John Wall had Anthony Davis, what would they do? They'd be right there with Boston. I just, I never loved John Wall. I still don't. He's been, he's, he's made tough. himself into a better point guard than I thought he could because he wasn't yeah, much of a point guard. You assist the game every year. Yeah, 2010. Yeah. 23 and 10, actually. If and Cleveland gets Cousins. Are, are you – you're on the bandwagon? I'm, no, I'm, I'm – I, I was telling Shan, I'm not sure I would do it. I love Boogie's talent. Is he the right the fit thing? to be – out there or did he start there? No, no, I mean, it's been bandied about okay. by people, but it's not – nothing in the works. But I'm, I'm just – out there. They could get him. Yeah. You give up that Boston pick yeah. and, you know, a, a good player, Tristan or whoever – Mm. I just want to know. I don't know why. Why would New Orleans do that? Why not? You, why are you gonna pay him to work with these? Two. Why are you gonna Why are you gonna pay him 185 million to be the tenth seed in the West? Well, who says they're gonna? You be think the they're making seed? the playoffs? Well, no, I I loved him with Rondo, but but he's I don't know how long he's. Drew out is tough him. if yeah. he can stay healthy. I mean, think about it. you. So you got you got you got a. Uh, uh, AD making twenty three million. If you sign, resign Boogie, he's gonna be making thirty five million. You got True Holiday making thirty million. Uh, in well, that market, well, how's Golden State doing it? Golden State, they're got paying everybody. Well, they Golden, win if they're if, if they're playing well. I, if I'm New Orleans, I give it the first half of the season. Yeah, I try to yeah. play slow. Hopefully, Alvin Gentry will do that. Play slow, play slow to your bigs. You're and play, you don't want to give Cleveland any any. Golden State, I don't any care. Golden State owners worth about three billion, and they just got this arena, and they got a twenty million dollar logo that's paid yeah. yearly. So they got a lot of things coming in. Mm. They in Silicon Valley. Mm. New Orleans is in New Orleans. Mm. There's a different dynamic going on. But don't you worry about that. You stop trying to create drama in Cleveland. <laughs> Richard Jefferson is in Denver. So he let is. that be. He is. I don't we know don't why, need, but he's out. We man. don't need to talk about road trips. So, so their season hinges on Richard Jones. No, but he was a value. I'm just telling you, every time it, I rooted you know against Cleveland, the one guy I feared coming off the bench was that guy. No. They're no. deeper than the guy you fear no, is I'll 23. You think Jeff Green Akron. can fill those shoes? Yes. I, don't. I do. I, I do. Sorry. As a nice man? I do. Please. Jeff Green. Yeah, I mean, Sean. <laughs> Yeah. Nice man. He's so good. Coming off the bench, Skip. How many rings is Jeff? So you Colorado. okay? So what's your answer, Boston? To, to what? How big of a threat are they? Kyrie will win the game tonight. That's all I know for sure. One hundred five to ninety nine, Kyrie. Even with going to play playing. angry. Yeah, LeBron. Was well, LeBron going to play or not? If built in his excuse already, I got a bad ankle. 
I wouldn't have played the preseason game if it had been a regular. Skip, you well, well, seriously, he's no. saying he's got a bad ankle, and what did Jr. say about that? He does have a bad he's ankle. Playing. He does. The what did only, JR say? the only, the only, the only way we learn anything from this game tonight is if LeBron plays and they dismantle Boston. That's it. Because otherwise, what if, what if, if Boston beats What if Boston them, dismantles LeBron and he I mean, plays? Does that, we've seen that in the regular season. Yeah. No. Well, it doesn't well, mean anything. Since you've been back yes. in Cleveland, you only two times, only left twice. The South Beach. Mm. That's the, uh, think, think about that, Skip. The Chicago been his first year there, and uh, and two years ago Toronto mm. got two games off. Him. Mm. Other than that, one or zero. Well, well I'm going to tell LeBron right here, right now. Your video tribute that you're paying to Kyrie will not work tonight. <laughs> He's still going to play angry, and you're going to be in so trouble. So strategic. LeBron going to be dressed up like Kyrie. They're, they're, they're trying to kill him. Was the hit on Aaron Rodgers illegal? We'll discuss that with Greg Jennings next. LeBron going to be dressed up. <laughs>